Hey everyone. Hello. Welcome to Reading the Bible to Cats. And Henry is very tired. We played hard today because he um he's gained a little weight. <laughs> so is Guster. And I yeah, they need to they need to lose a little weight, so I'm making him chase bug all around the place and then trying to get Guster to exercise too. But anyway, so I think that's why he's tired. But let's jump into it and read um, Numbers 28. And then we'll read Romans 11, and I'm excited about that. Okay. Numbers 28. The Lord said to Moses, Give this command to the Israelites and say to them, Make sure that you present to me at the appointed time my food offerings as an aroma pleasing to me. Say to them, This is the food offering you are to present to the Lord, two lambs a year old without defect, as a regular burnt offering each day. Offer one lamb in the morning and the other at twilight, together with a grain offering of a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour, mixed with a quarter of a hen of oil from pressed olives. This is the regular burnt offering instituted at Mount Sinai as a pleasing aroma, a food offering. Present. Oh, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard that. That was Guster meowing at me. And he just huffed. Now he's going to jump on me. Oh, okay. He jumped on me. He's going to knock the iPad. Can you hear him purr? We have a purr interruption. Purr intermission. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> now I'm going to try and read. But maybe you want to hear him purr for a little bit. Well, I don't know if the mic is picking it up. Anyway, Guster, we have to focus on the word. Okay, let's go back to, I think we're at verse 6. This is the regular burnt offering instituted at Mount Sinai as a pleasing aroma. A food offering presented to the Lord. The accompanying drink offering is to be a quarter of a hen of fermented drink with each lamb. Pour out the drink offering to the Lord at the sanctuary. Offer the second lamb at twilight along with the same kind of grain offering and drink offering that you offer in the morning. This is a food offering, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. On the, Sabbath, on the Sabbath day, make an offering of two lambs a year old without defect. Together with its drink offering and a grain offering of two tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with olive oil. This is the burnt offering for every Sabbath, in addition to the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. On the first day of every month, present to the Lord a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With each bull there is to be a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil, with the ram, a grain offering of two-tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil. And with each lamb, a grain offering of a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil. This is for a burnt offering, a pleasing aroma, a food offering presented to the Lord. With each bowl, there is to be a drink offering of half a hen 
of wine with the ram, a third of a hen, and with each lamb a quarter of a hen. This is the monthly burnt offering to be made at each new moon during the year. Besides the regular burnt offering with its drink offering, one male goat is to be presented to the Lord as a sin offering. Uh-oh, Gus just going to get up. That's me talking, not the Bible. He just put his paw, his paw on my mouth. <laughs> Um, I think he's going to jump off. Guster, Guster, can you make up your mind if you want to hear the Bible or not? Okay. Okay, I think you're going to stay. Good. Okay, he's going to stay. You're going to listen. Okay. So, on the, okay, verse 16. On the 14th day of the first month, the Lord's Passover is to be held. On the 15th day of this month, there is to be a festival. For seven days, eat bread made without yeast. On the first day, hold a sacred assembly and do no regular work. Present to the Lord a food offering, consisting of a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With each bull, offer a grain offering of three tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil. With the ram, two tenths. And with each of the seven lambs, one tenth. Include one male goat as a sin offering to make atonement for you. Offer these in addition to the regular morning burnt offering. In this way, present the food offering every day for seven days as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. It is to be offered in addition to the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. On the seventh day, hold a sacred assembly and do no work. Oh, excuse me, that's me talking, not the Bible. And do no regular work. Verse 26. On the day of first fruits, when you present to the Lord an offering of new grain during the festival of weeks, Hold a sacred assembly and do no regular work. Present a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. With each bull, there's to be a... Oh, hold on. That's me talking about the Bible. Guster, you're going to knock the iPad over. He's getting restless. Guster. Guster. Sorry, I'm trying to prevent a catastrophe. A catastrophe. <laughs> Get it? Catastrophe. Catastrophe. Um. I'm okay. Hold on. I have to hold on to the iPad. It's just balancing precariously on this blanket here, and if Guster jumps off, it's gonna topple. And our subject matter will be disturbed. Meaning, Henry. Okay, Guster, what are you going to do? Go over there. Okay, I guess he's going to step on his brother. Whoops, okay. Let's get back to the word here. Okay, well, you heard a little bit of his purring, which was sweet. Okay, verse 26. On the day of first fruits, when you present to the Lord an offering of new grain during the festival festival of weeks, hold a sacred assembly and do no regular work. Present a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram, and seven male lambs, a year old, as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. With each bull, there's to be a grain offering of three tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil, with the ram two tenths, and with each of the seven lambs one tenth. Include one male goat to make atonement for you. Offer these together with their drink offerings, in addition to the regular burnt offering and its grain offering. Be sure the animals are without defect. Okay, that's the end of Numbers 28. And again, what helps me as I read through, you know, the really the Levitical system and you know, the sacrificial system and, and, and all the rules and everything, the law, <laughs> is to 
see it all as pointing like a what would, how would I put it like a almost like an anatomy of Jesus like because these like a portrait of Jesus because these animals are are like pointing to Jesus and his sacrifice um and and there's such a emphasis on making sure that the animals are without defect so you know Jesus he's without defect without sin perfect but you know the perfect lamb the lamb of god great great truths and great mysteries okay so now we're we're going to move on to Romans 11 and Henry, you better not leave. Are you taking in the word? I think he is. Oh, now his face is out of range. Hold on. Um, my cinematography leaves something to be desired. <laughs> okay. Oh, now Guster's coming back. Oops. Somebody just texted me. I completely forgot to call them. Uh-oh. But I don't want to rush through Romans 11. Hmm. Okay. Well, I forgot I was supposed to make a phone call. Oh, my last video, I was interrupted by a phone call. Suddenly I'm popular. What's happening? No, I'm kidding. Um, no, I don't I want to rush through this, though. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We're just going to do numbers 28, and it'll be a shorter video. It might be good. You can let me know, like, if you, if you like me to mix it up, you know, and have, like, a shorter video and then a longer video or if you prefer like a long video with the two chapters you know old and new or um, you know what your preferences are um, but I think right now since I don't want to rush through Romans 11 I will I'm recording this on Wednesday. I'm going to post this Thursday. And then Friday's Friday's video will be Romans 11. God willing. Um, so let me just say a prayer. And then we, we'll do Romans 11. And that will be, um, yeah, that'll be Friday's. Okay, let's say a prayer. Lord, um, bless Bless my YouTube friends and provide for them. Put your angels around them. Whatever they're going through, give them the strength they need to, to get through it with joy and peace and love. Pray for the world, Lord. We, we so look forward to your return and strengthen us in your truth and in your word. And, um, we pray for the peace of Israel, the peace of Jerusalem, and we pray for the nations, for all, all the elect, all the people in all the nations that, you, that are your people, that you would um, revive them. Pray all these things in Jesus' name. Oh, and I pray for the hostages. Please rescue them. Pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, sorry for the shorter video. Bye.